Hey guys, welcome back. First of all, sorry I'm late. Um, I am pretty much knee deep, smack dab in the middle of taxes. That's about the only way I can put it. And <laughs> haven't had time to play all week. I still got a long way to go. Um, so it's been a little crazy around here. Plus, I think I told you this in a previous video, but my husband took a job or took a job over here in town. It's the same job. He just took a different position at work, so now he's home every day. So this is from somebody that has been gone for about two, two and a half years with my son working out of town four days, and then I have him home three days. Now I've got him home every day, and it's like my life has basically been turned upside down. And I'm not saying that in a bad way. But when you're so used to working and doing, you know, what you want, you know, for two and a half years, you have your own schedule and stuff like that. And you know how it is when somebody comes in and your whole schedule gets turned around. Um, it just throws me off kilter. I've had a few anxiety attacks and stuff and not mostly from him, but just because I can't get into a routine. So I don't know when I can make videos anymore unless I've got the time to do it where nobody's here because it's always loud and crazy when everybody's home. And yeah, I can shut the door, but it's just, yeah, it's just crazy. So today I just want to do something simple, um, just to come in here and at least play. So yes, we're going to do a Makumi Gani, but I wanted to make a pair of earrings. Um, and I just wanted to make classic colors and see how they look. So this, I think, is Sculpey. Yes, it is. It's Sculpey Primo. I don't want to use um, Souffle on this because I want that shine, even though it's going to have resin on it. So all I am using today, guys, is white and translucent. I'm still trying to get rid of all my old clay and stuff. Um, actually, this is new translucent. It came in. It's so soft. I love it. Um, again, I get mine from SculpeyProducts.com. I paid $12, I think, and 50 cents, something like that, for a one-pound thing of Sculpey Primo. Your half a pound, I think, is 6 or $7, and if you want just the two-ounce bars, they're $1.90. So the only thing I don't like about them is their shipping. They just threw it up there as a, um, I don't know, I don't even know if it's, if it's the Postal Service. I think their first one... That they offer is UPS and it, it might come to about $27 in shipping but if you put in the notes hey ship this the cheapest way they will put it in a priority mailbox or a priority mail yeah a priority mailbox flat rate and I only pay like 10 or 11 dollars and that's getting quite a few pounds so I was really good though I just bought a pound of black a pound of white and some translucent because those colors I'm always out of so I have done Makumigani a lot, but I don't think I've ever, ever done a one that's translucent used like this. So, I don't know if I want a whole lot of gold. So, all I'm doing is just going back and forth with the white and translucent. I'm putting gold on top. no specific order it's just um thrown in there it doesn't have to cover it all oops that one got a little stuck and i'm using a really small small cutter to make my stacks i don't know why i went so small i just didn't want to make a whole bunch This one is all pieced, but we're just going to throw that right in there. I'm gonna do that. I'm going to do white, that, and we'll do one more gold. Okay, and we'll just top it off with the gold right there, and then we'll just add the translucent on top. And there we go. There's our stack. Pretty easy. Let's 
And now we just need a little brayer. And as far as the clay, I cut these. I have the white as a number five, but I made the translucent at a three. I wanted that a little thicker. And now we're going to thin it all down. Anyways, and then we'll stack it on top of each other. got rain again today. It's been crazy out here in California, especially the southern part, but the northern part, we've got so much snow right now. I think Mammoth, which is about, I think it's about three hours north of me, they got like over 37 feet. So a lot of California right now is like um, snowed in. A lot of people haven't been able to get out to get food and stuff like that. I mean, they all knew the storm was coming, but I don't think anybody realized how much snow was coming. And we got a lot. So if it works out, we will have skiing until August is what they're saying, which would be really cool. That's the best time to ski is when it's sunny outside and warm although yeah your powder starts turning into ice but for the most part I don't mind skiing when it's when it's sunny outside okay so again we're gonna do our our famous design you know just hitting those corners hitting in the middle You can go big on those, you can go small. And then I will take my blade upside down. And I usually just come in here and go one, turn it upside down. Just like that. And then I will take a paintbrush or a little knitting needle. Just kind of do the same thing. Now this one I want really busy because it's going to be on top of solid black. So I want it to really show all kinds of fun designs. Okay, so this is a hair clip or hair, something that you stick in your hair. I don't use it. It's been sitting here for years. So it looks like it'll make the perfect circle for me. Okay, that's it. So we're just going to get that back in there and then back into a block. It's probably the shortest video I've ever made. <laughs> okay. probably look really cool with this and maybe a couple of donuts so I think I'm gonna need some more black I got enough for one pair but I think I'm gonna put a couple pairs so I have enough and um, I will be right back okay so we got a couple shapes to work with these are the wrong size so I'm just gonna use that and that so again as usual which is probably dumb to do this now because I'm going to be squishing down. Ah, see, I always seem to do this. I would be a really bad doctor. 
it's like I cannot have a sterile office even if I tried so we're not gonna worry about that yet what I am gonna worry about is I'm just gonna kinda kinda shape this you know just to know where I want to put it even though it's not gonna end up there And you know me when it comes to waste anyways, I'm going to try Alright, let me go ahead and put this through one more time And I've got this run at a number three But I have been having issues with my pasta machine For the past couple of days I'm getting like really rough edges and it's tearing my clay so I'm going to have to take it apart, I think, and clean it up. So I would love to cut it and then put it on because I think it's easier that way. But we're going to see how this works. So we've got a really pretty design here. And I'm going to go thin here. Okay, so you can lay that down, but I want to cut it. I want to just tear it because I want ragged edges. And I don't want it to go all the way across the bead or the design or whatever. So what I am, I am going to do this now. And that's just so I can figure out kind of where I want to lay it down. So I'm going to use that for something else. And I'll show you what I'm going to do. Oop. Oh well, it's stuck in there now. I just want to make sure not on the outside as much as the inside you really need to press down on okay so we're just gonna do this get all that up well that didn't cut out very well did it again it's okay because I'm gonna do this again so we're gonna make this a little thinner Okay, and I'm going to make it like a strip. A very, very thin strip. And if it breaks off today, that's okay. Because that's kind of what I want. Not as thin as I wanted. I'm going to go a little thinner. Just trying to find the easy way to cut this. And you really need a sharp blade. And that is a brand new blade as well. So this one right here is kind of perfect to what I want. So we're going to take this one off. just going to come off off the other side like that I'm 
This would also look really good on white. Okay. So that's basically all I wanted to do was just put a strip. I know they're not going to match, but they're never going to match. Anything handmade is not going to match. Okay, and now I'll rub these in really nice. Okay, so this piece is a little thick. This right here, perfect right there. So what I'm going to do on this though is I'm going to pull a little off the top. So if you get a thick end, you can just scrape it off a little bit. And your goal is to make this not have that little line that it's digging into. You want it to be completely smooth. than all the other ones. So I'm just going to come in here and take off that top. There we go. Much better. Okay. So this one looks good. So we're just going to take off a little bit right here. Okay. And a little off there. Okay, so now we're going to take some black. And this is going to be the backing. I wasn't going to have to out of backing but yeah since that didn't cut out as well as I'd like it to I'm gonna go ahead but I'm gonna do this at a number five and I think this black that I'm using is of the old the old black that I had so that's probably why it feels old Really? Of course. Well, I don't know why I'm worried about that. Sandpaper will we'll get it off. So let me move that over there. Same with that. You can make any design you want. And again, if it's like, see how it got over here and here, that's not a big deal because you can just sand all that off. And I'm going to put that right there. Okay, so I'm going to cut around this. I thought I cut that off, but I didn't.
So there we go. That's a lot of black. That is still good. Okay, so on this, we're going to turn this whole strip straight upside down. And this will also help us get it a little bigger than the actual cutter. You know, and if you want, you could even texture the front of it. Okay, so it looks bigger on pretty much all the sizes. Okay, and now we're going to go in. And I think I am. I think I'm going to come in. Well, if I resin these, then texturing it would be kind of mute. So we're not going to do that. Okay, we're going to put this in the original holes that it made. I think I'm using a test cutter because it's not coming out as much as it should. So there we go on that one. Yeah. It's getting that lined up perfectly. have to use cornstarch so I'm not quite sure why everything is sticking today on the little cutters sometimes yes you use cornstarch but on these big ones I should not be having to use them but today is my Monday even though it's Tuesday today is my Monday I think it's because I didn't stick it to the bottom when I put it back down. Alright, so that's basically it. So I know you're really not going to get a great idea of what this is going to look like yet until it comes out of the oven. And I do all my sanding and all that on it. It's a little different. I don't think I wanted those quite as straight across as they came. And if you have to be symmetrical, then just cut two strips out and do it again. But I didn't want to be symmetrical. But I do want it, I don't know, maybe a little thicker. I don't know why. I just have an issue with things not being symmetrical, but I, it doesn't matter. I'm going to throw these in just to show you what they look like. Okay, so we'll come back and do that. As usual, we have a change of plan. So I did cut out a big one. Oh, I had a really cool shape that I've never used before. I thought, oh, this is kind of cool. So I thought I'd use this. And it's just like, do I want it like that? Do I want it like that? That's always the toughest part. So this is a black at a number one. OK. 
Okay, so this is that strip. And it's just figuring out how to lay this down. And I kind of want the jagged edges. I think it looks a little more organic. So you can do that. Hmm. Trying to figure out how to lay this down. I've got this end one right here that I did, right? No, so I'm going to stretch it out. So I cut this a little thicker so that I can kind of stretch it out. No. Break a couple pieces here and there. Oh my gosh. No, so you can do it like that. You can do it like that. You can bring it to the side. No, I definitely don't like that. And you can decide how thin you want this. I kind of want it thin because I want a lot of that black to show through. And when it's resined, it's going to look really cool. So now we're just going to make sure that it's all in there to where you can't even tell that it's two different pieces. to the back in here and do a final cut that's not necessary if you don't mess up the first one but I forgot to even all that out before I made that cut so I had to do it so these are the other ones 
that I got made. Okay, so we're gonna go throw those in the oven and I'll come back when they're all sanded and resin on them. So I'll let you know what they look like. Talk to you later. Hey guys, welcome back. So I just pulled a few pieces out of the UV lamp, but I got my fingerprint on it and I had resin on my finger, so let me clean that up a bit. I'm dealing with a little bit of tackiness, which is unusual for the resin that I'm using. So I'm going to have to figure out what I did wrong here. But anyways, that's what they look like when they're all nice and shiny. So it's kind of interesting how it turned out. These are the ones that we covered completely with that cane. Not too bad as well. Um, I'll show you some other ones. So this was that big old that big old one that we did. I don't know how to run this one. But some of the other ones that we had that we haven't finished yet were the the daggers, a couple more of the Moroccan. Oh nope, this is a different a different one. And I think that was it. So this is what we got in the finished. And I know these are going to resin up really nicely. And just put in uh, some gold little top on top. And I think we're going to be okay. But this is what they ended up looking like. So I do like them. Something different. And um, now we just got to figure out why I've got a little bit of tackiness here. Because I really hate to sand them back down and re-resin it. But sometimes... Sometimes that's what you need to do, or you can just take a little bit of water instead of alcohol and see how that cleans it up. Oh, see, that's all I needed was water instead of the um, the resin. So there's our finished product. I hope you guys like it. So get ready. I think um, tomorrow I want to make some flip-flops. So I know when you grew up, you were like me, if you're around my age, and you had these certain kind of flip-flops. So I'll show you a picture of those flip-flops tomorrow, and we are going to try and recreate them out of clay. So I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great day, and keep warm out there. It's cold over here. We'll talk to you later. Bye.